It has been 20 years since the release of The Spirited Away, one of the greatest Ghibli films of all time. The movie made more than $360 million at the box office and won the Academy Award as the first hand drawing animation. One of the greatest moments of the movie is the train running above the surface of the ocean and heading to the horizon. As the surrounding is getting darker, the train keeps rolling toward the endless landscape with few small houses and stations in the middle of nowhere. This transition of scenery elaborately depicts the vagueness of something beyond, which is yet unrevealed, while the train is going from one location to another. No narrative action exists, and with the arrogant piano score of Hisai Shijo, this scene truly holds strong emotion and captures the beauty of hand drawing animation. But what if. I mean, what if this whole iconic scene once existed in real? Nagoya City is a town located in the middle of Japanese mainland, which has been flourished as a middle point between Tokyo and Kyoto. The first electric railway was established as Nagoya Electric Railway in 1898, the second electrified line in Japan, connecting between Nagoya Station and City Parliament as a tramway. Since then, various electric railways were laid in the prefecture, and until the 1930s, they were basically divided into two major railway companies, Aichi Electric Railway and Meiki Railway. While Aichi Electric Railway operates two major lines in the southeast region of the prefecture, Meiki Railway in the west predominantly covered the suburban branch lines in Nagoya and Gifu City. In 1935, as an amalgamation of the two railways, Nagoya Railway was formed though they couldn't run a direct passenger service from Shingifu to Toyohashi Station by an electric train as the voltage of the two railway was different. Around this time, there was an upcoming city promotion event, Nagoya Pan Pacific Peace Exhibition, which led the new reformed Nagoya Railway to introduce a brand new train to foster the accessibility to the exhibition. As such, in 1937, the railway introduced three sets of new electric train, Class 3400, built by Nippon Sharyo, one of the major railway rolling stock factories of the nation. The carriages were all painted with half light green and half dark green livery, and each unit consisted of two cars. They carried the arrogant streamlining design, inspired by Freigender Hamburger the famous high-speed German train that reached almost 100 miles per hour top speed. But its unique shape and green coat of paint led people to nickname the train, the Worm. The units were powered by the four Toshiba electric motors, and electricity was supplied from the pantograph near the front. In 1937, the new class 3400s reached almost 85 miles per hour top speed on the trial run and entered the service in the same year. After the war in May 1948, having a long refurbishment work, the west and east regions of the Nagoya Railway were finally connected from Shingifu to Toyohashi Station. This time, the railway's brand new flagship train, Class 3800, became in charge of the direct express passenger service. But as the new express train required four carriages, all Class 3400 units, which consisted of two coaches, were rather inadequate for the new express service and being used on limited times on weekends. As a solution for this problem, another carriage was added to each unit in December 1950. Three years later, the fourth car was eventually coupled to every class 3400, and the whole units were all painted with half red pink and half maroon livery. Since then, the 1937 built electric train took part in the mainline express service alongside class 3800. But in 1959, a tragedy struck the railway company. In September of the year, Typhoon Vera, also known as Isewan Typhoon, made landfall on the Japanese mainland. Around 5,000 people lost their lives, and the damage cost reached more than $260 million. Nagoya Railway was no exception to receive the destruction, as most parts of the Tokoname Line 
were all inundated with seawater. The railway desperately needed to reopen the line, so the workmen did the round elevation of the trackbed with extra ballast and put the temporary catenary poles. It took almost two months, but the railway managed to raise the rails enough to resume the passenger services. And then this happened. The train ran on the elevated rails as if it gracefully sails the ocean. It was the aftermath of the third worst disaster in Japanese history, but the flooded water and the raised trackbed miraculously created this picturesque scene that would never be repeated again. Two years later, in 1961, after the iconic Class 7000, known as Panorama Car, was introduced as the new mainline express train. All three Class 3400 were withdrawn from express service and delegated to the suburban passenger train. In 1976, receiving a full overhaul and several modifications, the trains were repainted with full scarlet red livery, which became quite iconic until the last days of suburban services. In 1989, after almost 50 years of long service. The railway decided to withdraw and scrap every unit of Class 3400, except number 3401 and 2403. The two-coach unit was allocated to the branch line work, and in 1993, to commemorate the long service, the railway restored the train to its former glory and repainted them with full original green livery. The unit had in charge of so many enthusiast trains for years, but in 2002, due to the aging of the equipment, the time had come. In August of the year, the railway withdrew the train from service, and the history of Class 3400 finally came to an end.